Hello friends, this is Don, and I am the Appalachian Rambler. Today we are in Limestone, Tennessee. We are located at old, old train station depot, originally built by the Southern Railroad. Now for once, I really don't have any background information on this video, on this subject. I know I've driven by this probably a hundred times before in the past, but never really paid any attention to it. But I was by here yesterday and I saw it and I thought, I really need to get out and look at that and investigate a little bit. Uh, there is a little, I'll call a historic section of limestone down here that I'm just not really familiar with But sometimes just because you don't know the full history of uh, whatever you're taking a video of doesn't mean you can't go ahead and explore it. Let's go ahead and uh, take a little closer look. Right here we are on the old railroad track. And this is a live railroad track here. I'm stepping across. And this one, I guess is not. It's a probably a side track okay there's an S right there one might want to say that's for the southern but it's probably somebody just peed up there I hear a train coming so we may be in for a treat. We may actually see the train up and close and personal. I'm going to assume this train, this train depot is probably somewhere from the 1800s. Looks like it's been painted a couple times. We'll walk in here. There's a flue liner. Guess this is where they had their pot bellied stove. I don't know what's going on in here. There's been all kinds of stuff dumped in here over time. Uh, I really like this trim work around the doors. Somebody's busted out the windows. Here's an interesting little room. One time. Small area here. Now, I wonder what those two small windows are. Hmm. Oh, there's room to the back. I'll try to go back here and see what that's about. But any of you that are watching, please, uh, if you know anything about this uh, railroad depot here in Limestone, any of these features, please, uh, please comment below. As I said, I'm coming into this kind of blind, and I really don't know don't know the history of it. Apparently from all the what seems like recent footprints. Oh, here comes the train. We've got to take a look at it. There we go. This footage here boring, but I'm a little bit fascinated with it. We're up this close to a train. I always especially think about these 
tanker, tanker cars. I'm thinking, what in the world are they hauling in those things? Lord, what happens if they overturn? Well, just imagine how many, uh, just imagine how many train cars this depot has seen go past it over the years. Millions without a doubt, millions. some of you but uh, I find this graffiti or what they call tagging on these uh, on these cars rather interesting some people might just think of it as vandalism but it's it's really uh, it's really a form of art If I had known the train was coming, I would have put a penny on the tracks and gone and collected after the train had passed by. I know many of these kids without a doubt laid a, laid a penny on the tracks and came back and watched me smash. There she goes, no more caboose. Well, that interrupted our video just a little bit, but it was a very, very pleasant interruption in my book. Look at the style of these old windows and doors. Have room here with a sliding door. Those of you that know more about uh, the history of uh, railroad depots can comment on the uh, purpose of that. Appears as though these roof supports. Uh, that was broken, been pulled to the side. So is this one. They're in poor condition. I think it's kind of rare to find an old train station like this that's either not been torn down, burned down, or uh, some have been restored. Okay. Now this looks like a uh, this looks like a room that was used for uh, storage possibly storage of what was being transported on the trains uh, 100 years ago maybe uh, and I assume uh, the uh, area through here was probably for uh, officials of the railroad and maybe for uh, passengers traveling that might have been a room for them I, I really don't know uh, even though railroads were very instrumental in the, this area settlement of this area development of this area I am woefully woefully lacking in my knowledge of uh, railroads in this area 
So as I said, if you know, please give a shout out and share some information. Okay, right there looks like the door that goes into that back room we could not access and unless I'm unless I'm about 25 foot tall doesn't look like we'll be going through that door okay let me go back here and see if we can get through this Just a just a big empty room. Oh, this was some oh I see now. Oh I bet you I see if you can see right here, this is rounded like a ledger. This may have been I'm gonna go out on the limb here. This may have been some type of teller window. I think and probably the teller was back where I'm standing perhaps this is where you purchased a ticket and if you can tell right here if you can see my hand will slide up through here so probably looks to me like a door uh, slid up into an opening right here now let's see we have one here yeah we we also have a we also have a, an opening here of course there's no uh ledge right here but that was probably torn off at some point in time so i assume this was some type of lobby and passengers were probably here and the officials officers cashiers this was probably their room and i can see right there there's an old flue right there where probably they had a, a pot bellied stove here or something now these are all assumptions on my part And we had this room back here with this. Now I'm gonna, I could make an assumption about these two separate rooms and these two separate uh, windowways, portals. But I'm not gonna make that assumption but if any of you want to make an assumption why there's two here and there's two separate rooms, go ahead and please comment. So I said I keep asking for comments on this because I walked into this blind and I do not know anything about it. And being the very, very curious type of individual I am, I want to learn more about it. And hopefully... Uh, some of you viewers will be able to shed a little bit of light on things. Okay. Okay. Okay, folks. I hope... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was uh, it was very surprising for me what I saw here, and I love the fact that the, <laughs> we got a visit from the train, and it gave me a lot to uh, to think about. And uh, 
I'm going to close this video here. And I ask that you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And comment below, please, if you have any information on this uh, on this uh, train station or train stations in general in this area. But I thank you for watching, and I'll see you on down the road.